here is the email from Christopher Keahane telling me to uh, f for my $600 Corbin seat that I should hit it like Fonzie hits a jukebox in order to get it off. This is the Corbin seat installation. It goes on fairly smoothly without an issue. Not much force, very solid. And now I will try to take this seat off by myself. I'm pulling my latch, my functioning Royal Enfield latch. And there is nothing happening. And now, as instructed by Chris at Corbin, I'm going to hit it like Fonzie hit the jukebox. How's that? And now a friend is going to help me take the seat off while I am pulling. So that's not coming off at all. And there is no pull back. There's no space to now pull back. To push it forward, dude. And there's no pushing forward. And now my friend Scott is going to try to twist this seat off. I think it, yeah. I think if we bend the plastic. I think I think I had to pull up here and push forward, which is almost uh, tipping over my. Maybe it pushed it. No, that that wasn't pushing. Oh, yeah. I think you twisted it at some point. You were like yeah. pulling and twisting at the same time, and maybe I was pushing down. Because it's too far forward, I think. So I think if did we, I think we maybe did we did push down on it. I was yeah. pushing down on it. Do you see this? Do you see this? Wait, one more time. I'm going to hit this like Fonzie hit the jukebox. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's something to... Because this pin in the back is definitely in the wrong place. Because it goes in the hole. Now, pushing it forward would rock it off the thing. So we can um, pull back. We can back it up a little bit. We can back the bike up so it's a little more stable. So this is my $600 Corbin seat. <laughs> I think, yeah, maybe I'm going to try this. I think that's it. I think you were pushing and pulling at this. I think you were pushing in the back side. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can get it off. Let's see here. Huh. Yeah, I don't. Because that's definitely, you can hear and it's pulling the latch open. So that's not what's interfering with it. Oops. So hang on, let me make sure that, let me make sure that everything is still in view. <laughs> All right. I remember you pushing pushing and twisting at the same time. And I've got the bike. Okay, so I'm not gonna rock I'm not gonna it forward. Rock it forward. Try not to break my nose. <laughs> but I would make Corbin pay for that. <laughs> yeah, this is a jam and a half, huh? Okay, so this is playing, it goes down. So that pin is coming in the hole, but it's not in the right position, so it's locking on the side of that circle. So my thought was that if that, we... I think that looks like what we were doing the first time you were able to get it off. Is there anything that I need to push on? I almost feel like it looks like the pin is like this, you know what I mean? And pulling, there's no pulling back. There's no way to pull anything back. 
Yeah. I think I remember you pushing this way and twisting up in some way. You go from the other side? Yeah, maybe. We did, we did get it off once. <laughs> we did, we get it off because it was off. Huh. And see, that was the problem the first time, is we couldn't push the seat any far there, forward. Right, there's no, there's absolutely no space between the seat and the tank. I almost feel like if I push, and there's a lot of seat that have to bend, but... That's all right. Oop, now I'm just tipping it backwards. Well, it can't go anywhere, though. Oh, I, I, I think it was oh. rocking back in my... Might take a bit of we'll record the entire thing. I guess I'll brace it. Yeah, is there any pushing that you could do? You said it. it seemed like a twist and a push. Right, should we take a break? Yeah, we can take a little break. Let's take a break. I'm going to pause this camera for just a few minutes. Uh, again, this is my friend Scott and myself trying to remove my brand new Corbin seat that is malfunctioning. All right, so now we're trying to remove this brand new Corbin seat. Uh, it looks like we are going to try bracing the front wheel against the brick wall of the house. And putting the bike on the side stand because that pin although it's angled forward is still too far rear set with the overall distance and I think that that's why it is angled forward is it went in that hole and then got pushed it's you know it's got to be at an angle so what we're gonna try to do is push the seat forward while bending the plastic of the seat so that we get that overall length shorter to get it out All right what so, do you need me to do so you're pulling that? this yeah and then actually if you have a chance to pull up on that I don't know, can you get a finger under there? Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's part there. Yeah. So I might, I think it was just... So you see, so that did it. And you can see the angle at which this is coming forward. So this, when it slides in the hole, there's a whole lot of scratching on the back end because this, the distance between here and here is too long. So this will go in the hole, but then that rear edge gets caught on this lip. And so it takes about two people to bend the plastic of the seat to get it off. And for the record, all I was asking Corbin do, to do was to pay for shipping in both directions to repair this issue, to make this non-functioning seat function on my brand new Royal Enfield. So I'm going to document all of this. The files will go to Corbin. The files will go to M&T Bank to see about a um, reversal of charges. And that's it. Here is the stock Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 seat being removed and replaced. One person, one handed. And once again. This is the stock Royal Enfield Interceptor. Catch pin. Hmm. 
Here is the stock Royal Enfield Interceptor. Release function. Working flawlessly. This is beneath the seat. These are the things that I absolutely must have access to. My battery, my airbox, and some electronics. And when the Corbin seat does not come off, I cannot access these things. Here are the measurements of the stock Royal Interceptor catch pin. Roughly three centimeters tall from the platform. The notch on the pin is about one and one half centimeters from the base to the top of the notch. The notch itself is about a centimeter. The Royal Inf the Corbin seat from the top from the platform to the top of the pin itself is about two and a half or less centimeters. The notch itself is a centimeter in width. There's a washer present there from the shop. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison of the stock Royal Enfield catch pin, release pin, and the Royal Interceptor, um, the Corbin release pin.